Percy's ex-husband was an Iraqi war veteran. She moved in with him shortly after his return from deployment. Everything was going well for them, until she noticed that he brought back pieces of pottery from a holy site. This is when she started feeling a presence throughout the house. She wasn't the only one either. Her ex-husband's mother and sisters felt it as well. At night, she didn't like leaving her room because she would see a huge black mass settled at the end of the hallway. After a few nights of seeing the black mass, curiosity got the best of Percy. She tried to communicate with the entity through a pendulum. Nothing out of the ordinary happened at first. After a couple of weeks, Percy and her ex-husband were getting ready for bed. They noticed that their bedroom door was stuck in place. It became extremely heavy and wouldn't budge. After a few attempts, Percy had to vigorously lift the door up and push forward in order for it to close. This incident was odd, but Percy didn't want to give it any more credence. Before she went back to bed with her dog, cat and ex-husband, she settled her laptop on top of her dresser. Her laptop stopped working properly and needed repair ever since she used the pendulum. She took the battery out and placed it in the top drawer of her dresser, along with her cords and adapter. She got into bed and started dozing off. That's when the bedroom door made a violent noise. It looked like someone was trying to lift the door. Her dog began to growl and fear filled the room. The door began to shake until it opened by itself. Percy could see the light at the end of the hall, but could not see the black mass. She sees no figure or anything that could have opened the door. That's when suddenly the door slams shut by itself. She then begins to have a panic attack and tells her ex-husband that she needs to leave. He begins to hold her and tries to tell her that it's nothing. She could sense his fear and knew that he was lying. That's when Percy felt the entity inside the room with him. She continues to panic as she feels it walking towards the bed. Percy's ex-husband doesn't feel the entity, but she knows that it's there. She is overwhelmed and hopeless. She keeps repeating that she needs to get out of the room, but her ex-husband is holding her tightly. That's when the laptop on the dresser turns on by itself. Percy has had enough. She frees herself from her ex-husband, jumps from her bed, rips open the bedroom door, and runs down the hallway in a frenzy into the living room. After that night, Percy slept on the couch for two weeks. She no longer felt welcomed in the bedroom. That's when the black mass began to manifest itself and form into a massive being with shaggy black fur and black eyes. It would sit on its haunches at the end of the hallway at night. After the horrific phenomenon, it wasn't long until Percy filed for divorce. It wasn't because of the torment from the entity. It was because her ex-husband had changed. He was no longer the man she fell in love with. Percy believes that the entity was connected to the pieces of pottery that her ex-husband brought back from overseas and that the entity gradually attached itself to him. When the divorce was finalized, she moved out of the house. Percy never saw that entity again. <laughs>